Well, I think that you have to have, you have to, in order to make community change, you have to have leaders at all levels. So you have to have politicians that are the leaders, that are the decision makers, that are really, that understand and, and embrace and have a very forward thinking vision and are, are, are able to get things done. So one line of advice is you have to get the right people elected to office. So pay attention to who the politicians are. Hope, get, and not only that, but grow people from within the advocacy community that can be elected to office. So you want to really cultivate um, really solid leaders to become elected officials that can then make decisions about uh, how, to, how to shape communities and how to uh, make communities more bicycle friendly. You need to have government officials within the government agency that are uh, managing the programs and projects that are also really skilled, so they have to get the best training that's out there. And right now, very very few university programs teach any kind of bicycle and pedestrian planning or design courses, so you need to go find one. I teach here at the university, um, at Portland State University, and designed a course, and um, there are a few professors around the country teaching, and we also teach courses here at um, the Initiative for Bicycle and Pedestrian Innovation. Uh, to, and there's conferences that are available, and there's professionals that you can fly to your city to teach. But you have to kind of raise the literacy level on how you make streets more bicycle and pedestrian friendly. Because if your traffic engineers in the city and your planners and your designers don't know how to do it, then it's going to seem scary to them, and it's going to seem different and wrong. And somehow, they're gonna, it, I can guarantee nothing will happen. It's, that's, that's been the case in city after city after city. Uh, because they have to be skilled enough to recognize that traffic models are one tool that gives you an outcome that generally shows that there's going to be more traffic no matter what, um, but that that's just a, a piece of information that needs to be balanced with the goals of making communities more bicycle and pedestrian friendly. And there are other tools that we can use to project bicycle and pedestrian demand, um, project safety improvements, think things out from a bike and pedestrian perspective that's not incorporated in the traditional traffic and land use models. So got to have your city staff. Um, be very trained and literate and dedicated. So um, that's one realm. The th the th so we have the politicians and we need city staff and we also need uh, advocates in the community to be both very supportive of the leaders that are proposing good things but also pushing the city to do even more. Bringing in a, in a you have, I believe that the best advocacy is, is very respectful of leadership and is um, inclusive and as forward thinking and understands that things take time, understand when to fight and when to compromise. Um, so you have to really work hard to craft uh, a good advocacy community and, and organize around key top priority strategies and push things. And uh, then I think you also have to have uh, industry leaders. I think you have to have the private sector supportive of doing this and so I think there's another that's a whole very complicated realm that involves having developers in the community understand that uh, developments in, within what within which people can bike and walk are healthy and are good for the bottom line that businesses to understand that people biking and walking to their business is good for the bottom line that their employees being healthy because they bike and walk to work that's good for their bottom line they need to come to an understanding um, that biking and walking is bigger than just getting a few cars off the road, that it's an entire, it has a huge societal benefit that we all benefit from, whether we bike or walk or drive. Um, so those are some of the things. There's a, I think it's a, I think there has to be a lot, a lot of folks working together at a whole community level. Um, I think we have to have our school districts involved in teaching kids bike and pedestrian safety. I think we need to have government agencies showing, uh, taking, demonstrating by getting their employees on bike for parking patrol, for police, for policing. Um, we need to have events in the community that are really fun so that people can see that bicycling is a blast, that it's not just good for your health, but that it's super fun and it makes people feel good for a reason. Um, we need to have just, there's so many components that need to all happen at the same time in order to create the, um, the communities that are very bicycle friendly.